Ah, 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 da, 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 da. Welcome, 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 welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Let's play some Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Yes, this is a game about um console girls that uh you turn on and you play with them. Yes, the best one is obviously Pluta. Or I mean, um, not that I would know anything about that. No. Obviously not. Hey, look, it's Compile Heart. I know them. They made all those H games. Yeah, they made a lot of H games. They also made a lot of Neptunia games. Um, is there some way to skip the opening? Please? Please let me skip the opening? I don't want to get a copyright strike, please. I really don't want to get copyright stricken. Wouldn't it be just the thing? Wouldn't it just be the thing for this game to copyright strike me? It's hip to fight the DMCA. Hey, look, there's the main villain. I have no idea what is going on in this game. But you know. There's the power button, that's how you turn them on. Or, I mean, um... Wait, a megaphone? That's quite a weird weapon. Yeah, but it wouldn't be the weirdest weapon I've ever seen in a JRPG before. I know there's a JRPG where you fight with a, where you can fight enemies with a frozen fish. There's also a JRPG where you can fight enemies with umbrellas. Why, I've even seen hot in Hyrule Warriors balloons being used as a weapon. Why, in my own lore, I've got people who use all sorts of things as weapons, and you wouldn't think anything, and you would think it was not normal. That, of course, is because of the magic of arts. Magic is very strong in my world. Alright, now, let's play the game. Um, what's going on? Um, I want to play the game. Something's wrong with my controller. Something appears to be wrong with my controller. Hold on for a minute. Of course, the stream would be scuffed. There we go. Resetting does appear to have worked. Good thing I had a safety pin on hand for just for that occasion. That's probably why I couldn't skip the opening. Alright, so what's going on in this world? There's a guy that says descending. It's sort of like the legend of Hyrule. Only there's a purple one for some reason. Oh, they turned into giant monsters. Never mind. This is the apocalypse. Yep, this is the apocalypse. Yep, they're destroying everything. I wonder what the heck is this game about? Actually, I... Isn't this the game about Se about the fall of Sega or something? Is this reflecting what happened with Sega after the Dreamcast came out? I mean, uh... Yeah. That's what I hear this game is about, yeah. Zero Dimension Neptunia Z. Yes, I would like to play a new game. Alright, let's, let's play the game. World which exists outside of our reality. Game industry? Why is the world called that? Above each nation. Okay then. CPUs? What? The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules. Ah, uh, playing Neptune. Obviously the best one. The nation where 
CPU Blackheart rules PlayStation? Yes. She does not look as cute as PS5 Chan, so therefore it's instant zero stars. The nation where CPU The Nation of White Heart ruled by Lowy. The nation of CPU White Heart rules Lowy. Oh hey, it's the Wii. Ah yes, the Wii U. Ah yes, the Wii. The best console of the the best console, but when are they gonna come out with Switch for this? Hey, Lean Box! We all know the best one is Lean Box, obviously. I'm not just saying that because I'm a huge Xbox fanboy, it's uh it's not uh, true. Definitely not. Game industry had been exposed to It's because come on, Bert is the um best looking one. Yes. Out of all of them. Four CPUs, a lasting era of peace, however. As they enter the a shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. Uh-oh. Which means it might be time for new goddesses to take over. Oh wow, we're starting off with visual novel style. Okay. Wow, look at those cherry trees in the background. Those are really nice. And who is this, Neptune? I just had a super creepy dream. Wait, what? What happened in the creepy dream? What's that noise? Like, I didn't do I'd say that sounded like something. Plastic slamming against the concrete. Wait, what? What? What could be plastic that's slamming against the concrete? Could it be a video game console? Here we find the heroine in a spooky back alley surrounded by darkness in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, that's... That isn't weird at all. Hey, she is self-aware of the hentai scenarios that could happen. Wait, what? I mean, um... Someone save me. Someone is calling out for help! We better go help them! Someone, anyone, save me. Save the zero dimension. The what dimension? Is it the re-zero dimension that we're gonna save? Probably not. Alright, now what are we looking for? Wait. What's this on the ground? It almost looks like a game console. Looks like Question mark. Hey, it's a Dreamcast! I recognize that anywhere. I recognize that spiral anywhere. Yeah, I never had a Dreamcast because I was in the Nintendo. Yeah, besides, everybody knows Dreamcast was a huge commercial failure. Well, I don't see anyone around here. So I'm just kidding, of course. It's a perfectly fine console. I just personally never owned one. At the Basilicon for yeah, but the Dreamcast did kind of lose out to all the big consoles that came out. I found a Unfortunately, although Sega is still around, they're third party now. Oh, really? Maybe and I kind of and I kind of like that. They're making they're making games on Nintendo consoles now. Yeah, they're still around. It's not like Sega's completely dead. I mean, they, um, keep making lots and lots of Sonic games of uh, varying degrees of quality. But that doesn't mean that they're bad. That doesn't mean they're dead or bad or anything. In fact, looking at Sonic Heroes, um, you can make your own Sonic OC if you really want to and play that in the game. And fight against an edgy bad guy that's sort of like Shadow the Hedgehog, but edgy. Uh, I mean the other villain that's like Shadow the Hedgehog, but edgy. Yeah, not not Mil Mil Flees the Dark, Infinite. She's cute till she opens her mouth or whatever his name is. Dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because. He... I'm gonna talk. It's a character. She's cute till she opens her mouth. It turns into a little dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because wait, what? Are we breaking the fourth wall in this game? Oh, what is the fourth wall, anyway? Neptune, listen to me! We're in the midst of game industry shift period, and this is simply not the time to, for brash behavior! Uh, come, come on, Hissy, lighten up. It's just a little old shift period. Wait, what is that again? I'm sure that will not become a plot point later on in the game, Neptune. I'm definitely sure it won't. And I explain it thoroughly, I will explain it once again, so please listen. I have to explain this for the benefit of the players that are playing this game, so they know what we're talking about. The CPU 
This CPU should appear to season where citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow instead of placing their faith in those already presiding. Ah, so new consoles are coming out. Okay. Ah, so new consoles are coming out is what you're saying. Yes. <coughs> Which means the girls are going to get upgrades. Yes. Of course, we all know that we... Well, we all know that we will become the Wii U, and that will be a huge failure. But then the Switch will save everything. Yeah, Switch is the best-selling console so far. It's sold... It's outsold mostly everything, man. And some of the most popular consoles ever. Still didn't sell as much as the PS2, though. We all know that PS2 is best, girl. Oh, it's not like we're in a proping... Hey, hey it's Nora the best girl! I like her because she's based on PlayStation! Um, and it's also a Sundere, and I love Sundere's! Sundere's are my favorite... Sundere's are my favorite trip to make fun of! Oh yeah, that girl... This girl is Nora the CPU of PlayStation the neighbor next door. She's a friendless only soul, aren't you, Nora? You shut up! You shut up! I'm not lonely, Baka! <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Nep Junior. Think we can fix this console? It looks pretty broken. Yes, let's fix up the Dreamcast. I'm sure that won't kick off the game's plot or anything. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Six? It cannot be helped. All right, let's take a and anyone, please save us. Save me from the nothing I've become. Crawling in my skin, these wounds I will not heal. Fear is how I fall, confusing what is real. Crawling! I think the voice came from inside this console. Oh, you don't say. I sure hope that doesn't become a plot point. Wait, what? A portal opened up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're getting sucked into a new- we're getting sucked into a video game. And into a new adventure. Apparently. Oh no! What should we do? I can't Please move. excuse me. Can't... We're, getting... We're getting sucked in! Ah! Oh wow. Yep, and so they got trapped in the Phantom Zone by the villains. Wait, why is there a megaphone? I'm just gonna skip this. It might be copyright AF. I'm not sure. Neptune. Neptune, Neptune, please wake up! Hmm. Neptune, Neptune, please! Oh, come on, Neptune, give me ten more minutes! This isn't the time to be sleeping! Look! This isn't the time to be sleeping! Look, look around! You're so noisy. Wait, wait, did... Did he find us slacking off to fix that console? Slacking off to fix that console? <coughs> she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon? As she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon. No. Huh? No, she is not. And I apologize for for coughing. Sorry, I got something in my throat today. My apologies. Right, right, right. This is just a dream. Oh, the night nap gear. Turn out the lights off on the way out, okay? Oh, it's, not a dream. it's not a dream, Neptune. Get up! No, 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 this can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our, in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? Uh, don't you remember the portal that opened up, Neptune? That would probably indicate that, uh, that's how we got here. I don't know, when I came to, we were just here. What happened? Well, I don't really know that... I don't really know where this is, but, uh, I don't think it can be helped. It says collapse, there's weird cracks in the sky, but you know, this is a normally a normal occurrence in games. Wait, what? Why are we breaking the fourth wall again? Wait, so it be some NPCs out and about. We let's go for a walk. I'm sure we won't run into any monsters along the way. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go to this event marker. Could be a cat or a hologram or something. Something real 
They don't seem like regular cracks. It seems like this world has seen the apocalypse happen. You're right. That's all green and pretty. pretty. I don't think it's pretty. It looks I'm like the it looks like the eaters have taken over this world and have caused the digital waves to happen. Of course, the bad guys are Kamashiro, which makes them the Illuminati. I didn't know that after Dimension Neptunia would have you fight the Illuminati, but here we are. Yeah, ever since Bravely Default 2, uh, I mean, uh, Bravely Second, yeah, that's what I mean, Bravely Second, not Bravely Default 2, that's a completely different game, even though I believe that makes no sense. Yeah, Bravely Second, in the lair, you fought the Illum- I fought- there's the final boss that's the Illuminati, and, uh, the Illuminati's been causing all sorts of trouble. They were behind the bug stacks, they were behind Arthurius' rise to power. Yeah, they were behind They were behind the Lost Plagueis Parasite and Resident Evil 4. Yeah. They were up to all sorts of no good things. Yeah, we gotta defeat them. It's obviously because I'm the main character, that's why I have so much confidence. Wait, what? She literally has main character syndrome? Hey. No matter what happens, we'll make it through with my pr protag rule set. What? She's aware she's a protagonist? What? Uh oh, monsters! Alright, now. Don't try to converse with the monster, it's full of murderous intent. Alright, now they're gonna transform. Um, they can't transform yet. They can't transform because they don't not they because they don't have the power the plot to back them up for it. <laughs> Otherwise, Ona share energy. Yes, they don't have any of that. Uh oh, it's attacking. But we can take care of the first enemy. It's gonna be easy. All right, do I want Neptunia and Nepgear in my party? Yes. And quickly. Quick. All right, we got a weapon. All right, now let's check out our combos. Alright, we don't know anything yet, but we're gonna learn them. Uh oh, first bad guy of the bat. First bad guy, and it's a huge, uh. bug thing. I've never seen this monster before. Never fear, ne Okay, what should I of do? Of course, we'll win the tutorial battle. My turn. Oh well, it missed. Ow, oh, that hurt pretty hard, actually. The bad guy is dead. Sort of like my soul. When I play these kinds of games. Easy peasy, we didn't even need to use- we need HDD. Hard disk drive? Wait, what? Is that a double entendre or something? It's our shares. I thought we felt something sure we can't, we can't feel our shares from him at all. Wait, what? They literally have market shares that help them transform? Okay. I didn't know these two were stockbrokers. They don't look a lot like stockbrokers to me. Wait, that's what they mean, right? Yeah, right. I trounced a certain noir in a character ranking contest. That popularity is like the source of our shares. Wait, it's literally popularity that gives them shares. Okay. So if you buy a video game console, you're supporting these girls and helping, and you're supporting these console girls and their um, plans to fight um, internet piracy. Yes. Actually, this game makes me want to be an internet pirate. Cause I wish I pirated this game. <laughs> Actually, no, that's terrible to say. Don't pirate any video game. Of course, this is coming from a series that thinks simulation equals piracy. Right, so I bet that Loewe would probably think that because she's based on Nintendy. 
so I can't connect to the phone or the internet. <coughs> it, it'll be just fine. Please excuse me. Too much. And let's be real here. Roaming around strange new lands, beating up monsters is way better than working at a boring. Yeah, yeah I like it. All right, now let's go battle some monsters. I don't know if I could... there we... I'm sure we'll be fine against any more monsters. All right, enemy symbols. Yeah, so we gotta be careful of getting back attack to force. Actually, that's pretty standard stuff that we should probably know. Nope, 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 nope. I'm still fine. All right, that's how you attack. We do have a first strike at least. I'm I'm out of range. Cross combination. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. I like the special move so far. I like the special moves at least. Let's see, X to do that. And we got a very pitiful looking jump. Guessing there's not. Hopefully, there's not a lot of platforming in this game. I remember that was a problem in Mega Dimension Neptunia. Yeah, for some reason I tried doing platforming in that game and it did not work. How's the fin for right now? Well, at least these space invaders are easy to beat up. Oh, I'm sorry, they're not space invaders, they're di- they're, um, they're discount. They're discount space invaders, guys. They're, uh, bootlegs, yes. Yes, yeah, so all the bad guy, all the bad guys that we run across in this video game are bootlegs of other things. Yes, it makes sense that they're bootlegs since uh, the game has a central theme of fighting video game piracy. Remember, video game piracy is not cool; it's a crime. Yeah, whatever you do, don't whatever you do, don't commit piracy, or the um, or the console girls will come and get you. And not in a fun way that you probably want, and a not fun way that you probably don't want. Yeah, they'll take you to jail. Yes, because it's a ser very serious crime to pirate video games in this world. Yes. I'm sure she'll be okay. Alright, she's fighting a lot of monsters for her life, so we'll probably go and help her. Alright, so we found somebody. Alright, I guess we'll have to head over to the next objective point. Ooh, what's this? It's some sort of war point. What's this? Oh yeah, that's a healing item. Wait, um, how do I get back? Wait, you're telling me I get a stat boost for doing just jumping? Like a kangaroo. Boing. I'm still a -okay. I'm fine on that. Don't tell me. Lily ranks? What? You're telling me there's Lily ranks in this game? Oh, I know what that is. So the console girls are apparently, uh, into each other, too. Ara, ara. Yeah, it seems like they're into each other, too. Of course they would be. <laughs> Of course there's be Lily ranks in this game. Why, why would there not be? Alright, there's some bad guys running about. Oh, bad guys. 
works and if we get multiple enemies in the same line. And we got severely beat up in there. At least we got something. Hey, what's this? I'm trying to access this box, but these boxes are in the way and I can't break them. Because all I got is this wooden sword that's not very good. A bunch of tougher enemies. And why is it not letting me do anything? Raj dance. Let's go cross combination. There, that took him down. Now we're hurting. Well, at least I learned a new attack. Fortunately, not every. At least I got a couple healing items. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, she has a heal spell. Okay. Good to know. Let's go in the combo. So we want to go with X, right? Get the first strike on enemies. There we go, that, that did pretty well. Total victory. And the event we need to trigger is in here somewhere. Let's take out those space and bear real quick. Oh boy, that's a lot of enemies. Alright, now let's choose the heal. At least we missed up Tunia there. That's good.
There we go, get to get some healing. Still getting used to the game's controls. Not sure how everything works yet. I swear I'm trying my best. There we go, got some more SP, you oh, cool. Beat that enemy down like it was nothing. That was pretty good. But, that's a tougher looking enemy. Oh, that's a tougher looking enemy. That's a tougher enemy. New skill. Alright, we got some new moves to work with. Um, how do I... How do I change them? How do I change the skills? Not sure how to do anything in this game so far. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, how do I jump again? Boing. That, there we go. Like fragments. That's a revive. Oh, here we go. Um, controller? Controller, please! What's wrong with you? I'm pressing X. I'm pressing X and it's not working. I don't know what's wrong with the controller. I don't know what's wrong with the controller all of a sudden. I don't know what's wrong with the controller. It's not wanting to work for some reason. Alright, might as well save. Um, the controller isn't working again. The controller's not working again. I don't know what's wrong with it. Come on, controller. Controller, what are you doing? Controls? Why are the controls all jacked up? Controls don't seem to do what I want them to do. Come on. Come on. Come on, turn on. Well, might as well do the events. Yeah. yeah, take out those monsters. I don't understand. I don't understand what's wrong. I may have to quit and re and pick a different controller. Sorry, I promised like two hours of this and holes aren't working correctly. I think it's just my controller dying. I guess when I charged it, but no reason. I'm just trying to help. What are you trying to do? You're trying to attack me for some reason. Alright, new girl is trying to attack me for some reason. 
Neptune is also not that hard to pronounce. And thank you for the ear scratches. I'm sorry it's going so bad. Number one in game industry is hot in the 100, 100 chart of nicest people ever in Europe. I'm about to get. Hey, come on, stop. Stop fighting. Yeah, stop fighting each other. All right, the monsters are still there. Yeah, let. I want it. It's too late. All right, we got a new party member. Oh, what's with the controls? Those don't seem to be doing what I want them to do. All right, step right. My turn. All right, now let's do a cross combination. Fight those things out. Barrage dance. There we go. Took them down. There we go, we took all three of them down. That wasn't much of a boss fight. Those were just regular enemies. Alright, level up for you. Hey, stop fighting us. Dungeon cleared or whatever. Is it really over? There are really humans that survived? I can't believe it. How many times do I have to? No, I know. I didn't mean it like that. Mm. It's just I can't remember the last time. I... It was wrong of me to attack. It's okay. Oh, it's all good. Well, I'm not... that aside. If you're not, it's under. Yes, they're. Mm. Yes, these two girls are from. These two girls are lost and they found themselves in this world somehow. And they're surviving in. And uh. Well, they're just surviving off the land. They're just gonna survive. Uh oh, a bad guy's approaching. Giant purple heart. Yeah, they're a big purple monster that's going to destroy the city. Yeah, it's quite beautiful looking. Unfortunately, this thing only brings destruction. I know what this game is. It's Evangelion. Yes, these are angels that are attacking. Yes, that's what's going on. Definitely. Is this the one behind? Right. And it doesn't. You're going to try it. That's exactly right. Something that giant is just too. All righty, now. Huh? Our opponents. Yeah, we gotta be careful, man. That's perfect. Neptune. Neptune, you're our protector. There's no way I'll lose. I appreciate the gesture, Neptune. It's useless to try. Please be real. Come on, we can definitely win. Yes, I'm a CPU. I'm the CPU from uh, Lega. Yes. From Dreamcast, yes. Of course, that's what the console was, wasn't it, that we picked up? It was Dreamcast. And I can't believe we got sucked into a Dreamcast game, guys. Um, surprise game? Surprise Dreamcast stream! I'm apologizing for my control issues. Not sure what's going on with that. Doesn't seem to want to work correctly. You two are so dense. Is there a place where we can heal our wounds? Sure, let's go. Guess I know about math. You don't need to tell me anything. You don't need to tell me anything. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're just gonna skip all the tutorial stuff. Hopefully, you don't run into any monsters on our way there. Because that could happen. I'm kind of hurting. Come on, don't run into any monsters, please. Yes, we made it. 
Made it to the base without running into any monsters. That's good. Pricing with this game is not very easy. Apple hideout from an anime. Yes, we actually understand how wicked cool this base is. Yes, it's like an underground cy cyberpunk base. Yes. That's in the post-apocalypse. That's in the post-apocalyptic world that we got sucked into. I see, that's why we share our energy with. That monster destroyed the world, and uh, what's going on with the share energy here? That's when intelligent move creatures moved in. They're very kind, so we're able to talk. What's our current objective? Where are the others? What? There aren't any monsters. Are the only ones that can fight, of course. So who are the other people that we found then? Who are these other creatures that we're going to meet? Now show me who these other creatures are. Of course we know you. Let me first complete the evacuation. And she has a Dreamcast logo on her on her tie too. Also our shirt is not buttoned up and not covering all that much. available. We can't develop anything right now. Yes, I know about shops. You don't need to sell me. At least I would like to buy things. There's just plenty of few things to worry about. Let's see, these have less vital, but they have more mental. These have a bit more vitality to them. How many can we buy anyway? really all that much, to be honest. Not all that much, to be honest. Let's get it done. Well, I'm gonna try to save. What the fuck? Can't seem to save. What's going on with this controller? Doesn't seem to want to work for some reason. I don't think that has anything to do with the game. I just don't think it's charged properly. Try and fix that right now. I'm gonna try a different controller and see if it works. Alright, I promised you hours of this, so... Alright, I 
I like to skip everything. That's working now, so it's definitely a controller issue. I'm sorry. How can we choose our combos? Yes, we can. Alright, that has a lot of hits. Yeah, it definitely is a controller issue. Maybe his attack was standard. Okay, attacks were power. Alright, now, now we can set our combos. And we use power. Don't have anything to set for that. Seems like we want to use that one for that. Alright, we don't have another. We don't have anything else for you to use. Yours is set on standard, so we want to go standard and then move into. And she doesn't have much combo going. Alright, let's head to the next. Let's head over here then. To where the story wants us to progress. Alright, what's going to happen? What's the game plan? Which monsters will approach the city before the giant does? We gotta get rid of the hurt. We gotta get rid of the horn. Nepsi, you don't call me that. That's weird. Your name's too hard to pronounce anyway, okay. That's definitely a controller issue. Alright, everything looks normal now. I'm glad it's not the game. I, did, I expected it not to be, because I've already played this game. I already played a little bit of this game, so I know that's not the case. Oh, that's a big bond. That's a big boy. Alright, now let's go for cross combination. Oh, he already depleted like half a health bar. Alright, if we go for Mirage Dance, this should do nicely. Alright, we took it down. Excellent. I am the CPU of My apologies. Alright, we did it. We beat the monster. I think we've... No, we've only Here comes the second wave. It's a lot larger than the one... <laughs> you best... Oh, we're much more than acquaintances by now. We're basically a pair of rotten best friends. Whenever I, have I never had the opportunity to challenge it, this ass. Hey, stop swearing. This is a Christian game. I mean, we are talking about console girls that get turned on. Oh, she's she's got a share crystal. Right now. She's gonna transform. What's she gonna transform into? Alright, can we see the transformation sequence, please? Oh, uh, what? Uh, what? Yep, she's got the power button in her eyes, so show that she's turned on. Drivers, whatever that does. Drown the enemy and then beat him up, okay. Alright, we're gonna try that. Oh, I think we'll be fine. Go for the drink. Go for that. Yeah, there we go. That's hurt. Oh, this thing has multiple health bars, doesn't it? Now that hurts. Alright, let's try a Mirage Dance. Go for it. Get it down. Go 
go for Dream Roar again. I still got another health bar. How many more health bars does the guy have? Actually, not that much. He almost depleted all his health bars. Ouch. Well, at least he's just spraying that feet here. Beat him down. There we go. We did it, guys. He beat the first boss of the game. That actually wasn't that challenging considering I didn't grind or anything. Alright, Mega D Drive. Hey, is that a reference to the Mega Drive? Yes, that's her connection to. Magna Slash? And she level up too. Alright, Breaking Waves, that's pretty good. Doggy. It's only because of you guys that I defeated. Thanks so much. Hey, no problem, man. I'm just happy to see ya. Yes. We got our first sexy console girl. Alright, I mean, um. Even more aggressive in HD form, I thought you were more aggressive in HD form, but you're actually, you're completely the opposite. Yes, you're bubbly and sweet whenever you're in your, whenever you're in the H hard disk drive form. It's so crazy. Yes, HD does stand for hard disk drive, I confirmed that. Verbal CPUs. Oh, right. CPUs too. I can even call them crying children, of course. Except I have no share, so not like I could transform them just for you. A CPU candidate. It's nice I have other CPUs on in, in, in our team. Yeah, out of time. Looks like, looks like you were using a share crystal transform. You gotta keep trying to fight that thing. It oh, it ran away, huh? It's it ran! Crazy. It's running away because of my intimidating streak! Yeah, yeah keep on walking, keep tough on guy. Walking. Yeah. Yeah, you show, You tell that, uh, monster, uh, Miss Neptune. I'm not satisfied that I couldn't finish it off, but now Wait just a second. I'm gonna fight that giant thing with those injuries. Thinking of What's the matter, Nepsy? Yeah, we're gonna keep going until we beat all the giants, yes. Wait, what the heck's going on? Uh oh, explosions! Uh oh, the bag that the giant is attacking. The giant evil purple heart is attacking with missiles. A surprise attack? Let's return the favor twofold. Uh oh, she's injured. Are you okay? You kidding? It takes more than that to take me down. It's me. What's your status? Who's me? Oh, good. Yes. There's... Then I can fight without reservation. Yes, this is about the fall of Sega, guys. Of course. Yeah, Dreamcast was their last console. Uh, you know, before they quit making consoles altogether. Huh? Although I'm told they keep making con although I'm told they keep making Sega Genesis in uh, other countries. Or something. Of course, Sega consoles are definitely the best consoles. Everybody knows that. Sega does, but Nintendo don't. I haven't had a shot like this in so damn long. Yes. And in this case, uh, in this case, uh, we know that uh, we know that Dreamcast is good because it's stacked, uh, unlike Louie, which is not stacked. Or I mean, um, that's how you tell there's lots of processing power in the CPUs. Yes. Wait, wet rope. Anyway, that's how. Okay. Whoa. Hey, let me go. Got a good grip on her nip. Hey. Yep, we're running away. Okay, back to base. Back to base. Back to base. Back to base. You idiots, getting in the way like that? How could you? Hey. The CPU, the CPU needs to be alive to do her job, you know. Besides, you were injured. You were having a hard time. 
Even though, uh, Nepgear, don't you have a heal spell? Can't you use your heal spell to get rid of the injuries? Alright, we successfully protected the, uh, area. Let's go this way. Hopefully we don't run into any trouble. And this leads to the next scene. Alright, now. Oh yeah, I forgot to change the combo. I know I'm supposed to do that soon. Combo, combo, combo. Let's see, what's this? Previous attack was power. So if we go all in... Actually, I don't think we'll be able to do much with that. Their first attack is standard. Right? Now if we go, it's full standard for you. And we should go full standard for you. I go full standard on you. And you have giant breaking waves. So if I set it like that, and then set it like this... If I set it like that... That should be good, right? The previous one didn't use combo... And the previous one was standard before that one. That's good, right? Alright, let's converse. I mean a giant. Hey, wait, we keep calling it like giant and that thing, but what is its actual name? I wonder what. It, I wonder if it has a name at all. You don't know anything about its real identity, like where it came from or what its purpose is here. I don't know, but it, all I know is it's on the warpath here ever since it arrived. It wants to destroy the city. It's destroy cities. It erases them from existence. They just vanish. I keep saying it, and we're running out of places to hide. The cities, they just vanish. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Yes, it's uh, almost like it's a bad guy that wants to destroy everything. Maybe this really is like Evangelion. Yes, Evangelion. The angels came down and destroyed all and destroyed Sega's career in making consoles. Yes. Obviously, that's what's going on. But that's obviously it. You want to go across the ocean? I can explain why up there has no transmission and why we can't... Actually, it's because we time traveled back to the time when Sega Genesis was a thing. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me Seymour. Feed me all night long. You can do it. Feed me Seymour. Cause if you feed me Seymour, I can grow up big and strong. Yes, it's supper time. All right, now. It was just lying around somewhere. You can just find shirt crystals in the ground. Is that normal here? Definitely. Wait, what? That's impossible. What? Is it going to be like a plot twist where Uzumi's powers are actually causing things to appear randomly? And then it's crystallization of invisible share energy. How can they just be found in the ground? That's right, but is something wrong? You need a huge amount of shares to make a crystal. A special formula in order to crystallize it. Like, they only barely managed to make four of them. Deity of Sin, what the heck is that? Oh, right, that's the video game piracy deity. That's a deity if, that you have when you're a dirty game pirate. Since this game is all about fighting game piracy, yes. Arr! 
Yo ho ho and blow the man down. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be drinking all the rum because I am a pirate. Yo, fee dee fiddly dee. Being a pirate is okay with me. Fee dee fiddly dee. When you're a pirate, a pirate is free. Do what you want because a pirate is free. Yes. I love being a video game pirate. Ah. <laughs> we shall bring down the industry. We shall bring down the video game industry by committing the cool crime of piracy. Ah. By the way, that's not an endorsement of video game piracy. Don't do video game piracy. I'm just making a joke because Hyperdimension Neptunia likes to preach against piracy of video games, okay? Yeah, it's not me endorsing piracy. Even though piracy is okay with me. Or, I mean, it's not okay. No, don't do it. Don't do it or else the Nintendrones will come and get you. And you know, they're very lit. And you know, they'll stop you. They're, they stop all the fan games. They stop all the emulation. Because apparently that's piracy. <laughs> yes, I mean, emulation and emulation... Emulation and fan games are cool with me, but, you know. I'm just saying Nintendo thinks it's piracy. But, you know, actually, actual pirates are out there stealing content. And thus taking the share energy away from these goddesses so that they won't be able to save the world. And thus their world will get destroyed by giant monsters. And the console wars. And the um, company known... And the evil companies will take over and drive all the video game industry into the ground because of the because of the three evils of greed or whatever. <laughs> yeah, do you really want the video game industry to fall under the control of EA? You know, Electronic Arts. No. In fact, let's just say that this headcanon is not only about fighting video game piracy but also fighting EA. Yes. In fact, I would not be surprised if EA was a villain in one of these games. But, you know, they're an American company and this is a Japanese game. So we're probably going to have, like, Capcom or, uh, Komani being a villain in this game. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what Keisha and, uh, Sisha are. I mean, that's what they are, right? <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want to live under the iron fist of uh, Komani, do you? I mean, it's bad enough. I mean, it's bad enough that Komani turns turn Castlevania into gacha games, man. And we don't want any gacha games. <laughs> Yar, ho, oh, ho, ho, a pirate life for me. Yo, ho, ho, it's a pirate's life for me. <laughs> yes. I gotta learn how to. I wish I could learn to be a video game hacker so I can make my own video games and uh, also hack video other video and also hack on um, video games so I can fix the problems in them. For example, I would love to hack Pandora's Tower and fix the problems that are wrong with that game. Like for example, that game-breaking bug at the end of the game. I would love to fix that. <laughs> A Komani. Yeah, I love Komani. They're the makers of Yu-Gi-Oh. They're also the reason why they don't even they don't they just release cards and never play test them. That's why we get things that snipe the extra deck that shut down all abilities for a turn. <laughs> and you can just combo extend and then have your monsters be immune to everything. On top of getting an extra normal summon. <laughs> yeah. Now you know why. Now you know why the Pokemon fi ga TCG game changed over time. It's because they realized that making trainer cards w not once per turn was a huge mistake. Yeah, but in Yu Gi Oh, you could activate as many spells as you want in one turn, and you could special summon as many times as you want in one turn. It doesn't matter. Why, just special summon all the cards in your deck and then deck and then Exodia people.
I mean, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh is way... Yu-Gi-Oh is a great game, don't get me wrong, but, uh, yeah. But yeah, I love I love when my opponents build an entire unbreakable board that full of negates. And you have to play through the disruption with your entire hand. And then still lose the game. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure the cards that can just negate everything for one turn are pretty much banned. Yeah, no as a thought, unfortunately. Which was a very fun card to play. Wait, why am I ranting about Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh right, uh, Komani also uh, turned Castlevania into a gacha game and also turned it into a pachinko machine with erotic violence. And not the good kind of erotic violence, like high, like high impact uh, sexual violence. No, 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 they turned it into a... Uh, they turned it, they turned it into a pachinko machine. Which is very bad. And then they turned it into... Yes. In fact, I'm expecting Komani to just... To just turn Aria... To just make it... Just make a sorrow game that's a... That's full of microtransactions. Like, pay $4.99 to unlock the soul. Yes, pay four nine Pay four ninety nine to get ten... To get a thousand gems so you can tr have a chance at getting a rare soul. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm not even paying attention to what this game is all going on about. <laughs> Man, I am, I am so distracted that I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, so if I sound like a crazy person, that's because I am. Alright, we're friends, yay. It's not like I think you guys as like friend actual friends or anything like that, Baka! Oh, Usumi is a tsundere! I love it! Oh, Dreamcast Girl is a tsundere, that's good, I like tsundere's. Being tsundere is funny, guys. One flesh one fresh serving is sooner I come right up! Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, that is a good moment right there. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We took a screenshot of that. Now I can upload that to Twitter. <laughs> proposal for you, Usumi. I Will you listen to me for a second? Sure, proposal. Is it a marriage proposal? I would like to marry you, Nepgear. Why don't you let Neptune and I help you out until we get back, go back home? What? Until you go back home? I, I'm trying to tell you that it's too dangerous and you should head home immediately. How about that? Don't you think it would be dangerous for us to explore a strange land we're unfamiliar with with a whole bunch of giant monsters and a bunch of Bootlegs trying to uh, bootleg us. I mean, why not? Why not have the villains be bootleg consoles? Yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure that Hyperdimension Neptune has already done that. Uh, when I wasn't, when have they done that? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure bootlegs were already a thing. <laughs> Oh, right, they made firmware into actual villains. Right, yeah. That was a thing that they did in this game. Well, not this game in particular, but one of the Dimension it. One of the Neptune games. It's hard to keep track of which one there are because there's over 9,000 of these titles. And they're all very good games. Especially Hyperdimension Neptunia 1 for the PS3. That's the best Hyperdimension Neptunia game. <laughs> All right, now, let's go. There's nothing here. What's wrong? We are searching a bunch of rooms in a while back. I want to take a bath or a shower, but I can't find one anywhere. Now, that last battle really made me work up a sweat. Well, not really. We didn't really take that much damage. I don't think you smell Gearsy. What are you doing sniffing, sniffing net gear? What are you doing? 
Oh, uh, what? Are we gonna have a shower scene? Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, what a wonderful game! We're gonna have a shower scene with potential with these grills? It's gonna be great! Uh, actually, I should probably not say anything about that because I'll get flagged by Susan. This means building up on building up to Nep Gears flag. I never expected her to be wooed this by the same gender. But here we got Lily ranks in this game, so we know that uh, that's a thing. Yeah, it's sort of like Knights of Azure too. We got Lily ranks. Yes, we're both we're both very funny. Yes, and you're the best one. As does I mean you're you're a Sundry, and I like that. Yes. <laughs> you're looking for a place to play. We don't have a bathroom. I thought I'd tell you about a replacement for showering. You have a shower? Yes. Follow me. I'll show you. Uh, what? Are we gonna really see this? Oh no, we're gonna see what we're gonna see this, aren't we? All right, guys. I have to. I have to warn you not to look at this if you're underage. Yeah. Um. Um. Just give me a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna censor. I'm gonna censor this. I'm just gonna censor this. Oh. Kids, don't watch this stuff. Video games are video games and anime are a mistake. Don't don't watch. No, you're not allowed. Yes, no. No, you're not allowed to look at this. Actually, I'm blocking off all the words, aren't I? All right, fine. I guess you can. I guess you guys can look. Actually, I don't. Don't tell my. Don't tell Susan or Jeff Bezos that I said to look. That I said that that was okay. Because they'll ban me. And I'm probably gonna get banned for this game in Galgun 2. In fact, if I'm already not banned for Galgun 2, I'll probably not be banned for this. Oh no, yep. Yep, this is what we expected here. Yeah, this is what I expected. Alright, now let's talk more about Kamani. And how they're a great and amazing company, and I wish they would make, make that PT game that we were all promised years, years ago in the PS4. I would love to have Silent Hills back. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Because Kalmani is, um, uh, um, into, more into NFTs and pachinko machines these days. <laughs> wow, what do you think? Maybe Idea Factory will put NFTs in their, in their video games and have it destroy the environment or something. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I don't think they'll be doing that. If anything, it'll be a short little side gag and we'll probably have to fight an NFT based boss. Or not. I mean, this is from the game series that brawls video game piracy as a villain. Yes. And video game piracy is a crime and you should all feel bad if you ever done it. Yeah, no video game piracy. As unless you want to enjoy high quality scenes like this, uh... Like this scene where they're all where the characters are bathing. Which is high quality. Yeah. Well, that was very awkward. Well, that was awkward. Alright, let's never talk about that ever again. I'm sure stuff like that won't happen in any other game. Wow. Yeah, at least, at least the Ideal Factory knows what people want. 
and that is high quality, high quality CGs of the highest quality. And by that I mean, if you smoke a bunch of weed, it's high quality. Yeah, just roll it up into a blunt and smoke it. <laughs> hey, Napier, why are you looking at me like you're disappointed in all my life decisions? Actually, you're both looking at me like that. Wireless isn't functioning in this area, so that here has a net by a cable. Yes. Yes, that's because we're in the Dreamcast era. Of course we're going to have to do that. No, no Kappas! Don't, don't start spamming Kappas in chat. No. Don't do it. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough we had controller issues, and now we have Brun. <laughs> Alright, now, what's the ages on these characters again? I, I guess we're all going to jail. Yep, we're gonna go to jail. I wish I had chat on the screen so I could put you guys in jail. <laughs> Wait, I'm the one playing this game. I should probably put myself in jail. Yep, Indomati got sent to jail. <laughs> I mean, Galgun 2 already sent me to jail before. At least I felt like I should probably go to jail for playing that game. I should probably go to jail for owning it. I I paid money for Galgun 2. And Galgun 2 was amazing and wonderful. <laughs> I mean, what's all the love about Galgun 2? I love that there was a villain that was named after the, the virus that was around right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just blame chat. Sure, I will definitely blame chat for all my terrible decisions. Actually, you guys are the ones that wanted this game. And you guys were the ones that demanded I play yeah, that I play Galgun 2. Of course, I'm the one that dared everybody to go. Yo, like it this X number of times and I'll play Galgun 2 and I'll definitely enjoy it. And of course, Galgun 2 was amazing and wonderful. <laughs> Show of hands, who's living? I'm the dead, you're alive, dumb. It maybe us gives you a little off of the feeling when the internet first started spreading. Well, yes, that's because we're time travelers and we traveled back to the Dreamcast era. And we have a magical Dreamcast girl that's, uh, very magical. And also a Sudre. <laughs> which makes, which makes Usumi the best girl ever. I mean, whenever there's a Sundere in a video game, that's clearly the best girl. <laughs> I mean, I know everything about Sundere. I know the best the best Sundere's are the really violent ones, like in like from Love Hina. <laughs> that's how. You yeah, that's how. That's how you know it's high quality. Hey, bugs that live here just have found a share crystal. Okay. Alright, let's go find some share crystals. Apparently these share crystals are really hard to make and hard to come by. I don't know where I can get any more of them. Apparently it took it took the regular world like a, a bunch of high level priests to make like four of them. Yes, four. One for each of the big console grills. Who the best one is Lane Fox because um she has under boob. Er, I mean um because she's the best one, obviously, because Xbox is the greatest console ever. Trust me. My favorite decision that Microsoft ever made was buying Rareware. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the event marker, I guess. Uh-oh, we ran into trouble. Oh no, some bad guys. Whatever will we do? Let's beat them up. All right, standard, standard, standard. All right, going with standard was definitely the right choice. Just combo on those bad guys. Actually, now that we learned how to play this game, I think we're doing a lot better. All right now, let's head off. All right, on to the next event. 
Hey, here's something. What's that on your wrist? Is that like a retro radio? No, that's clear. That's clearly a. Uh... Shit, what was it called again? The Nintendo Power Glove. Yeah. Uh, don't ask why a Sega console has a Nintendo Power Glove. Wait, I know what it is. Hmm. Shit, I remember this. Uh, it's a Tiger Electronic. Yeah. She has a Tiger Electronic wristband game. Yeah, she's playing Tiger Electronics. Which are the best type of games ever produced, ever. They're even more high quality than Galgun 2. <laughs> but trust me, you haven't played video games unless you've played a Tiger Electronic. <laughs> I mean, I would love to play some Tiger Electronics, but unfortunately. I don't I don't think that I don't think I can record any of them with the Elgato or anything. I I would love to though. Don't get me wrong, they're absolutely amazing and wonderful. Yes. And am I plays Tiger Let's play uh, Tiger Electronic video games. It's gonna be a relatively short video since they're uh, very short games, to be honest. But you know. Tiger Electronics were very popular around the uh, time that Dreamcast was out. <laughs> yeah, for some reason. For some reason, they sold over 9,000 Tiger Electronic games. E even though better game consoles were out. <laughs> yeah, you can't spell plug and play without Tiger Electronics. Nah, don't get me wrong, Tiger Electronics are way higher quality than plug and plays. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm just talking about Tiger Electronics. I'm not really paying attention to the story. Uh, I do like I do like U Usumi so far because she's the Dreamcast girl and is the Sundere. And uh, when she transforms, she turns into her sweet inner self. And she and she has a megaphone that's a weapon. And I know that sounds like it's a weird weapon, but look. Look here, look, listen. There's an RPG out there where uh, you fight with you fight enemies by slapping them with a big frozen tuna. So trust me, it's not the weirdest RPG weapon I've ever seen. I mean, have you played Hyrule Warriors? Tingle literally fights people with balloons. All right, now bad guys. Discount Space Invaders are the bad guys. Yeah, let's zap them up. Whatever that means. I have no idea what that means, but I, I love it. Alright, beat them up, yeah. Gonsville! They beat the bad guys and inflicted a lot of damage on their psyches. Jump! Jump like a kangaroo! Oh, back attack! How'd I get back attacked? Obviously the game's glitched. Oh well, they missed most of their attacks anyway. Alright, let's zap them up. And now I'm saying it. I mean, it would be fun for a fairy to say things like that. I think the Sealy Court would definitely do things like that, yes. Of course, I'm not really affiliated with any court in the fairy realm. I haven't been, at least my mother, but my mother, however, has been, as is kind of in one. Yes. She was a Sealy Court member. That was before the incident where I had to run away, where, me, where my family had to run away to the moon. You know, to escape the bad guys that were trying to kill us. Alright, let's beat up that guy. Oh wow, these lizard men look a little weird. Alright, they gotta take it out. Oh no, zero damage, I'm so terrified. Eat my attacks. There we go. SP plus three. Also, would you believe that we get a set boost every time we do a jumping whenever we whenever we do enough jumping jacks? Alright, let's get on this bad guy. Beat him up with that combo. Alright, do the standard combo. 
Alright, she has a bit more range than the other two girls. That's pretty good. So far, Usamine is my favorite character so far. I know Neptune. I know Neptune is pretty good, but uh, uh, why is she so so? Why is she so aware that this is a video game? I mean, she literally has main character syndrome. Of course, she is the main character, so of course she would have main character syndrome. I mean, like she's aware that she's the main character. All right, surprise attack, and we got a strength bonus. Apparently, got a strength bonus for that. I'm a regular. Oh, we got an HP bonus. Cool. We beat him up. Knock him out. Oh, these bad guys are surprisingly very easy to take down. Oh, lots of bad guys this time. Knock him out. I remember not too long ago these guys were giving me trouble. Luckily, it seems these guys are actually the easiest ones to beat up. I mean, they are just level one scrubby grunts of the area. Yeah, take that. Get him out of here. Now, where am I even supposed to be heading? I'm supposed to be heading towards... Actually, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be heading. Alright, now let's battle. Rise attack on the bad guys, yes. Oh, I can't reach him. Ow. Oh, you did damage, okay. Take you down. Did we beat him? I would love to get this treasure box over there, but unfortunately it's blocked by these boxes. I can't seem to break them for some reason. Alright, let's go from here. Exit is right over there. I don't want to head there just yet. I'll fight more bad guys. Beat them up. Yeah, there we go. Actually, the combat's not too bad in this game. The combat's actually pretty fun in this game. You just kind of have to know what you're doing. You just kind of have to know what you're doing, and it's pretty much... That's pretty cake from there. Of course, this game has plenty of cake. I mean, it's full of cute girls, obviously. I mean, uh... I mean, the console girls are great. Amazing heroines, yes. I know, it's going for an attack. Can't get to her. Alright, you just mean wreck them up. Wreck them up with their megaphone. Good, we got more XP. Good, we got a little bit more money. Yeah, I need that money. I need that money, I really do. Do I buy new equipment? Or, I mean, um, pay my bills. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally going towards bills and totally not towards anything else. I, I mean, I swear it's not. Alright, beat him up, beat him up, yeah. Pep them all up, yeah. Ow. Yeah, you're a discount space invader. Invading my space. We got an item, cool. Alright, good thing, we got that attack going. Can't reach him. Like this means range on that. That's pretty good. I like the active time. I like the combat. I like the combat system in this game so far. I haven't been paying attention to a lick of the story, though. Yeah, there's a giant monster that's destroying this region, and we got sucked into a Dreamcast to get here. Oh, cool. We left left. I mean, I would like to be sucked up into a dream cast. No, no, it's shooting bubbles at us. That's defending. Now it did like zero damage. Get him out of here. 
Be gone, turtle. Oh, we got a turtle shell. Perhaps I can use that on a racetrack later to, uh, to uh, troll the normies. Unfortunately, it's on a blue shell, so I can't, probably can't do much trolling with that. Wreck him, wreck him, wreck him, yeah. There we go. Excellent. Why do people say that Neptune games aren't very good again? Um, obviously those people have no idea what they're talking about. This is a good experience. Answered probably early on until the games weren't very good. Like the first one was definitely not very good, from what I'm told. I mean, they did remake it for the PSP, though. Alright, we're napping these guys up. I can't believe we really destroyed those things so easily. Alright, let's battle some more. I'm kind, of wanting, I'm kind of wanting to battle enemies. I got Bloodlust going. Mostly I just want the money. Alright, there's to be my left. That's good. Oh, she learned heal and she learned a new combo. Alright, are any of these any good? Oh yeah, I should probably equip this. Equip the letter bracelet. Alright, I should probably check out more combos. It's pretty good. Power slash. Oops. Right, this. Lit slash should be pretty good. Alright, let's see. What's your. EP waves. Use the tax for power, huh? So if we go into our standard attack and use power and then go into that, it will be stronger, right? At least I think that's how that works. Alright, that's a jump button. Okay, forget the jump button. You gotta learn that. Alright, let's nap them up. I love napping enemies up. This is pretty fun. Ow. Lizard man, get out of here. Get nipped up. Oh, nipping bad guys is pretty, uh, pretty fun. Hey, now this, get, now this game's got me saying nip all the time. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Alright, before I do anything, I'm just gonna save real quick. Just gonna save real quick. And I'm going to continue. I can't believe I've been playing this long. Alright, now let's get to that next event. Yeah, we are better fighters. We've really improved since our first... we really improved since they started the game where we had those issues. It's pretty inconvenient to have to connect to the internet using a wire through the public phone. Oh yeah, dial-up internet. I remember that. Like, they used to sell internet. They used to sell. T they used to sell limited. They used to sell limited hours on the internet and uh, craft cereal boxes. Yeah, that was back when LL was a thing. Yeah, does anybody even still use IL up? Uh, blank, uh, blank has been born at Blank's Basilicon. Month X month X day. We we're given an aim blank to the newly born blank. We learned of a new ability, we call this Power Blank. It's over, Blank. Blank's is too powerful. Neither I nor Blank could, can manage it. What's going on here? Alright, what, what was all that about? There's definitely some weird, creepy secrets in this world. Oh, I guess we have to go over this way. Alright, let's go over here. There's a me. Why are you looking at me like you're disappointed in me? And why are you playing Tiger Electronics again? 
Yeah, I'm just gonna say that she's she's a very um uh, that she's addicted to Tiger Electronics. I mean, Tiger Electronics are very cool. I like Tiger Electronics. Did you know that Tiger Electronics even made even made a whole bunch of games based on popular game popular games like Castlevania and Torak? Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they did Mario, too. I'm pretty sure they made some Crash and Spyro games, too. Yeah, Tiger Electronics was super prolific, man. <laughs> now, why would you want to play anything else other than Tiger Electronics, though? Alright, let's go over here to this new dungeon. Alright, we should probably go heal first. Uh-oh, we ran into a bad guy. That's one of these robots. Alright, let's set them up. I, I mean, let's beat them up, yeah. It's going to attack for zero damage. My defense is too high. Alright, at least we got some credits off of that. I mean, hopefully we can buy some new items. Yeah, so I would like to buy some new items. Oh, they got some new items for sale. Alright, I guess I'll buy one bean slicer. And I'll buy... One of those. Another items we can buy. All right, I'll do my best. Bean slicer. I like it. There we go. Hopefully we can get more items. Hopefully we should both go grind and get some money at least. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Alright, let's check out this new area. Umio should be around here Umio? Umio? That sounds like a water thing. That reminds me of Umi from Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes, Umi was a field spell that was like a gain you gain like two hundred attack and defense for e for uh you gain two hundred your aqua, your sea serpents. And that was the effect like thunder too. Also fish. It gave him like 200 attack and defense, but it like the uh, we'll reduced the machines by 200 attack and defense. We'll be totally surprised at the coincidence and like both Uzume and her Uh oh, she's in Dreamland for some reason. Uh is she okay? Oh, I was not doing anything weird, no. Small well, chance someone will appear to show us the way, right? I was being sorry, but what in the world was that you just turned into? Oh, it was just the matching things. Yeah, that was that's totally normal. I mean, it most definitely was not. You turned into some kind of valley girl for the nineties or something. Wait, what? Oh no! Valley girl. This is like so totally uh, awesome and stuff. I, like, totally love this game and everything. Yep, I also transformed into a valley girl, like, totally, man. <laughs> You're referring to yourself as Uzumi in the third person, too? Uh, you were hearing things, or maybe there was monsters that can create illusions around here. <laughs> that was crazy beast. Yes. Hey, look, it's a tempura monster. Yes, it's so cute, I want to eat it. I want to fry that thing up and eat it. Someone actually... Sweet. Sweet, nice timing, baby bud. Oh, uh, just something concerning us. Yes, you're correct. See you two. Just look. I, I can't believe... Yeah, it takes her note the way she imagined, just like, just like that Valley Girl transformation. I can't believe she had a Valley Girl transformation. What are you doing? You're, I'm gonna leave you behind. I'll show you the way, you the way please hurry. No oh, wait up. Alright, where are we? Umio's in here? Yes! My friends and I were we happened to find something that looked like a share crypt, but while that was happening, a monster. 
A monster we've never seen before started attacking. Okay. So we're gonna have to track that that monster down and beat it up. We shall spite this monster in the name of uh. Actually, what what in the name of anything are we fighting for? Ah, it doesn't matter. I must say the environments in this game look unique. I like that. All right, we got some bad guys. There we go, beat him up. Ow, that hurt. Okay, these things actually hurt you a little. Alright, if I get them just right. Alright, do it. Um, use a big dream or attack. There we go, that's good. Special attacks in this game look really cool. I like that. Oh, these monsters look a lot are a lot tougher. Cross combination, go! Never mind that. We just beat one. Just beat pretty easily. There we go, beat him up. Alright, now more bad guys over here. Uh oh, we got back attacked! Oh no! them just right. Yeah, we can hit them both. So you can hit them both, okay. I like that, I like that a lot. I like stealing monsters a little bit easier. We got a crude circuit for that, and we got a lot of credits too. Like getting those credits, we're probably gonna need that to upgrade our weapons. How do I get in there? I gotta get in there. Oh, we got back attack somehow. Well, not that it matters, these guys are easy. Last time with the megaphone, yeah. Oh, hey, we got raided, V. Anabin, what are you doing here? Nice to see you here. Yep, I'm playing Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Hey, what's up? You are a cute, you be a cutie. We be rating, you be a cutie. I'm not a cutie, Baka. Yeah, I, I, I'm not cute, no. You, you must be thinking of something else, no. Baka. <laughs> I, 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 yes, um, being a Sundre is very fun. In fact, Uzumi here is a Sundre. And she has a big megaphone that she hits with. Oh no, we got the hit with bubbles. There we go, beat him up. Nah, I'm alright. Nah, I am right. If you say so. I, 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 I'm not cute. <laughs> Actually, it's okay. You can call me cute if you really want to. <laughs> Alright, now we have to go through here. Because we need to go downstairs. Alright, let's go downstairs. Or bad guys. Now, good thing we got first strike on these guys. Alright, now let's step them up. Yeah, that's just what you do in this game. You nip things up. There we go, got him. Hey, well, Lane, what the welcome? This brings back memories? 
Oh, I didn't know you played this game. Oh no, I got back attack somehow. Ow. Ow, not back. Ow, stop bullying us. No bully. There we go. There we go, we got him. Get wrecked, robots. And we got a bunch of credits too, that's good. The event's right over there. I kinda wanna go back and, I kinda wanna grind and get some good items. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the enemies respawn. I have to go back and get some better items. Hey, what's up? What's up, Murder Carps? What's up? Nep Scalibur, yep. Alright, now let's exit the dungeon. Oh no, we ran into some bad guys. Oh, the good news is these guys are just more credits for us. I'll just snap them up. Take that, beat them up. Next. Beat him down. Damn, oh wow, zero damage. Oh wow, they hit for zero damage. I'm so afraid. Good news is I get bonuses every time I do so. We did it. We're beating him up. And we got a level up, cool. Level up for my two main girls, cool. Alright, let's go over here and get to the store. I don't have enough credits for that. Let's see, what can I sell that's gonna give me a lot of credits? I think I need these items for crafting or something. I'm gonna equip this. Now that has higher attack. Alright, can I sell my old sword? Apparently not. Alright, I guess I'll just have to go back and get a little bit more gold. That's an idea factory compile can't hurt game, the idea items near needed for something. Yeah, I'm assuming there's crafting somewhere later in this game. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Oh no, I got back attacked again! Ow. Ow, stop shooting me with lasers! Knowing bad guys, eat my eat my stick. Eat my justice stick, also known as a sword. Swords are a good swords are good justice sticks. Get them out of here. All right, let's go find some more bad guys to beat up so we can get more credits. I get back attacked again. This on that, no damage. Well, the good news is we can attack both of them at once. Alright, she got Rush. There we go, we took him now. Good thing it missed there. Alright, now let's beat him up. Beat down that bit. There we go, get it. Get it done. By the way, I'm in Demonte, I'm from the moon, I am, uh, I'm an Ark. It's a type of fairy. Yes, if you played Riviera to Promised Land, you'll probably know what that is. Not that everybody's played that game. I should probably really play that one day. Alright, let's try let's do a Mirage Dance. There we go, beat him up with that big skill. Yeah, there we go. Got him, yeah. Mark's been very good Justice 6 as well. You can stab and scoop, yes. Oh man, Riviera. Yeah, Riviera's a pretty good game. Oh man, he's outside my threat range. 
Oh, the bad guy's outside my threat radius. He's gonna hit both of us. He's gonna hit both of us for massive damage. Oh well. Knock him out of here. It is, but guy dang it. Yeah, Riviere. Yeah, Riviere does have some guy dang it moments. Also, it has a lot of quick time events, so. It has a lot of quick time events, too. Alright, let's attack both of them at once. Can't quite reach. Yeah, hit Uzumi for zero damage. That's good. There we go, got him. Knock him out of here. Eat my justice stick. Nice victory pose. Alright, let's go battle this robot over here. Let's gonna sneak up behind him. Alright, knock him out. I wish I could hit both of them in this with, with this attack. Not gonna do anything anyway, it's too weak. This enemy is quite weaker. Sorry, could you heal me? Alright, now that's pretty good. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, I missed this around. I missed this. It's a herb. Oh, herbs are my favorite healing item in all the video games. Whoops. I'm sorry about that. Herbs are my favorite healing item in all the video games. You know why? I like to imagine that when a character spoke takes a herb. Yep, the uses a herb as a healing item, they roll it up into a fat, um, joint and then smoke it. Yes. Anyway, that's why, uh, that's why herbs are my favorite healing item in video games, man. I always imagine, yeah, that's a thing I like to imagine, especially when playing Resident Evil games. Well, the classic ones, anyway. I don't know if Resident Evil even still uses herbs. Yes, I want to buy one of those. And then I will equip that to you. Yep, that's a big jump in strength. Alright, now let's hopefully not get jumped by monsters as we go back. Alright, now that we got our gear set out. Set out. How about spices as missing uh, as healing items? Ah, well. Oh well, herbs. Oh well, herbs are much better. Herbs are a lot better, though. I like herbs. Herbs are really... Herbs are much funnier. Especially since you can imagine them being like... Like, a uh, weed. Like Mary... Like Sweet Mary Jane, yes. Ouch, it's gonna hit us both. Take that. Beat him now. Hey, we got an illegal memory. Uh oh, bad guys on my tail. Ah, uh, we got back attacked. Ouch. Ouch. It hit us for a pretty sizable damage. Not gonna lie. Oh, I can't reach from there. Alright, her other weapon had a lot better range. There we go. We did pretty good there. Another bit. Oh no, we got back attack somehow. Ow. That's okay, we can take a little bit of punishment. Ow, well, that really hurt. Pretty sure if I just line it up correctly, I guess I can hit them both like that. There we go. Oh, it missed the attack. That's good. You're just too weak. Man, how do you miss robots that the size of that, the size of a house? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can't. You can't. That would that. Well, RPGs and their accuracy, their accuracy RNG does not make a whole lot of sense. Oh no, we got attacked by giant turtles. We're doing absolutely no damage to us whatsoever. 
Yeah, these are just count these are just these are like Koopa Troopas, guys. Yeah, if Koopa Troopas were like Dark Souls bosses. Man, could you imagine what Mario games would look like if they were Dark Souls? I mean, imagine imagine a giant ass piranha plants, only it's hyper realistic. In fact, imagine Pokemon, but hyper realistic. I mean, that seems to be what people want out of Pokemon games nowadays. Since they don't, since they clearly seem to be unhappy with Legends Arceus for whatever reason. I don't get it. Arce Arceus looks amazing. I mean, granted, it's not as high quality as this game. Hey, we got a turtle shell. Too bad it's not a blue shell, so therefore it's useless. Actually, if it were red shell, it'd be much useless. Oh, you don't know? That's good. Oh no, we got back attacked by the bad guys! Ouch. Just a mean second a little beating. Yeah, it just means just taking a little bit of damage. It'll be fine now. Alright, anyway, let's just rush on the enemy. There we go, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Alright, good thing you missed the Usamine by a mile. Alright, so I am going to use a heal command. They're telling me I have range on my healing. Alright, I guess I I guess I have limited range on my heals. Hitting the target properly, then hitting, not hitting them at all. Oh, Alright, now I am going to use a heal spell. Let's use a couple heal spells. Alright, we got the first strike on these guys. Oh, look at all this! We beat five enemies in one go! That's almost, that's almost like seven in one blow. Like the brave little tailor. Yes, I also like classic fairy tales. I mean, it makes sense. I am a fairy after all. Hey, is that a warp point going down in the background? Yeah, that's a huge warp pipe. All right, baby bug bird. Let's do some mean protect us from the vicious monsters. Yeah, the baby bugs also look like tempura, and I want to eat them. And granted, so those legs have to go. I mean, they look like they're staring into my soul, guys. And they look like they have the ooh woo face. Oh, whoa, what's this? Notices your. Notices these console girls? Oh, Fried Shrimp, no. Oh, they are talking about Fried Shrimp, they're talking about eating this thing! <laughs> I was just making a joke about that, but they're actually doing it, guys! <laughs> Yeah, besides, we already have high- I know, right? Legends Arceus is amazing, man. It looks really good. I mean, could you imagine Pokemon, but hyper-realistic? Like, it's something like Monster Hunter or something? I mean, we kind of already had hyper-realistic Pokemon with Detective Pikachu. And that was horrifying- that was horrifying nightmare fuel. Not gonna lie. Oh no, we're being attacked by a warp pipe from Mario! I can't believe it's gone full circle like this. Alright, let's barrage dance. Let's dance. There we go. Knock that warp pipe out of there. Remember, the shrimp is not the shrimp is not food, it's a friend. Don't 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 try to eat our friends, guys. Oh, there's something here. Game slicer, life fragment. Oh, we could have gotten a free life. What the heck is that? I'm sorry, are we under attack by Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club? Emergency food, I guess, Mr. Mime, yep. Yep, you remember Mr. Mime, don't ya? Are we under attack by Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club as an enemy in this game? Wow. That's a crossover I didn't really expect. 
I did not expect this game to cross over with Doki Doki Literature Club. E even though this game came out way before Doki Doki Literature Club. Alright, beat him now. Yeah, hyper-realistic Mr. Mime is a stuff of nightmares, man. Alright, we got another level up. That means we might be able to beat those things now. Uh-oh, we got giant robots. Ow, it did zero damage. Yeah, the giant robot missed us with its big sweeping hand. I guess it's not very accurate with using those fiddly little arms. It should use something more effective, like a giant laser beam. Or missiles. Yeah, what's back here? Was that in the Gundam? Hey guys, we're under attack by Gundams now. Oh wow, I didn't expect this game to cross over with Gundam either. Alright, let's do Dream Roar. Big damage! Yeah, like that. I wonder how something can be more real than real. Well, you know, uh, you know Sonic.exe, right? He's hyper-realistic. Alright, we got another, we got another Pike to beat up. Yeah, here, you work pipe for Mario? Well, there's that gear done. There's that gear done. Yeah. Wait, what? There's a gun. There's a Gundam reference in Net Gear. What? Are we under attack by dating sim? Oh no, the dating sims are attacking. Yeah, but it's just like Doki Doki Literature Club, guys. We're under attack by dating sims, apparently. That is something that also happens in uh, this game. Man, I like this game. You know, I ironically like this game. I mean, granted, I uh, granted it's no Galgun 2. I mean, Galgun 2. How can you top that game? I remember playing that game. Yeah, Galgun 2 was something else. Yeah, as in it was absolutely wonderful and amazing. <laughs> I can't see why anybody would say that that's a bad game. I can't see why... Yeah, I can't see why Galgun was banned in uh, New Zealand. Whatsoever. I guess New Zealand does not know how to have fun. Alright, what's the pipe gonna do? Oh no, it's gonna miss. Alright, let's nip this pipe ball up. Get nipped. Now the same has me saying get nipped. Alright, now. Where even are we going? Where even are we going? I can't get through those boxes. They're indestructible. They're indestructible, sort of like something that's indestructible, which is not like my soul. I wish it were like my soul, but you know, it's not. Yeah, this place looks like it's straight out of Cy Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Right, it looks like it's a bigger area than the Cy any Cyber Sleuth dungeons. Alright, there's a big robot over there. I'm gonna go beat it up. Alright, big robot freeze in the name of the slaw. In the name of the law of the uh, goddesses that rule this strange world. Alright, I guess that's a big AoE. Ah, uh, we don't need to do anything. What are these things gonna do anyway? See, they didn't even do anything. See, they're barely doing anything whatsoever. Out here, you Mario pipes. 
They defended, yep. I guess they did defend. They got really high defenses. Not much else going on, though. Not much else going on there, though. Alright, now let's beat up this turtle. Good, we got him. There's Amin is still cute. Yeah, she's also a Sundre, too. Which makes her the best one. In fact, after after I get done with the session of playing here, I got a meme to show you on on, on Flatter or something. Yeah. Get him. Nah, we don't need to fight. But it's gonna do like 11 damage. Get him out of here. Get that pipe out of here. I'm kind of lost as to where I'm actually supposed to be going. Guess I can't go that way. Because there's barriers in the way. Alright, let's go. Oh, there's a treasure down here. That's nice to have. Okay, is there any way... Let's see, there's one area we've been to. Have we been over here? I think we've been here before. You know, it's such a big area, I wonder if there's any map or anything. That's a dating sim. Could beat up more enemies. I just lost as to where I am. Oh no, we got back attacked by pipes and dating sims. Ah, oh, the pipe actually did some did a decent chunk of damage there. There we go, we took that thing down. Alright, let's take him down. Alright, now take him down, take him down, take him down. You said this was your first snap, but you should shut up. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're doing fine so far. We're doing okay. A little bit lost. Alright, this looks important. There's an event over here. There's a public phone. I, hey, can you, I'm sorry, can you two wait here for a moment? Sure, why not? What's up with that? It's not like we don't have public phones back home. He wants to hook up to the internet by using the phone. Yeah, see, connecting net gears with the cable. I wish I could do that with the uh, game, game gear. Does anybody know any good game gear games, by the way? In fact, I'm pretty sure net gear is supposed to be like game gear or something, right? Alright, now there's a save point here, so I assume we're going to have to fight something pretty tough here. Alright, let's do it. Alright, now. The event is right here. She is, yes. Uh-oh. It's a bunch of slimes and baby- and baby- The Chaz. Oh, is Chaz Princeton among them? Wait, I don't see anybody here that looks like Chaz Princeton. Yeah, baby bugs and freaking doggos. I recognize doggos. Yeah, doggos are like a... The food has arrived. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, let's eat them all. Hey, we're supposed to protect these creatures, man. I got two powerful CPUs with us that will only help us out in this fight. Alright, now let's do it. By the way, thank you for raiding in a bin. It's nice of you to raid me. I, I hope it be I hope it becomes a regular thing more often. Don't underestimate me because I'm a 
Uh-oh, we got a big boss. Alright, let's go cross combination. Alright, we have to break its armor first. Now it got behind us and hit us twice. Now it's beating us up pretty badly. Alright, let's try this again. Mirage dance, go. Now oh, it's getting us pretty hard. Your turn is coming up next. You're gonna heal you. your heal. I'm gonna use it on I'll heal you. Thanks a bunch. I'll end this Oh stop beating us up. Get out of here. Alright, go for Dream Roar. Use an item. Let's use that on you. Now you're hitting pretty hard. How do we break this barrier, by the way? targeting is. Yeah. Go for cross combination. The break damage barriers more. how to break this guy's barrier. Oh, whoops, I actually meant to heal. Heal up, please. Not sure how to break this. Alright, it's power on this game, okay. Heal. 
not wanting to break for some reason. Alright, there we go. Alright, finally, there we go. Alright, I'm just gonna heal... Just gonna heal you real quick. Now let's let's start doing the big damage, yeah. There we go. There we go. Took it down. There we go. Yeah, that took a lot out of us, but you know, we took it down. That should be the last of them. I think you're right. Hmm. Hey, I really didn't want to break it break very easily. Omeo, are you okay? Yes. Uh, Thank you for advising me to use the power moves. I'm just glad you're here. I have some friends that friends that wish to meet. Nepsy! Alright, now let's meet their friend. Oh, it's C Is that C Man from uh, the C Man game? Oh no, recipes get no. No. A fish man with a seriously stoic face. Yeah, you remember that one weird Dreamcast game known as Sea Man? I I'm not making a joke, that's actually the, the game's name. Yeah. Where you took care of a weird fish with a weird face on it? That's what this reminds me of. You guys even recall that game? <laughs> Showing Sea Man on stream? Hey. <laughs> yes, that's what we're doing now. Yep. So now we got some Sea Men with us. Yep. <laughs> we got some console girls that have power buttons that show that they're turned on, and we have Sea Man. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're playing the console girls, and uh, we're. Messing around with semen, yes. Before it returns, yeah, that's what we're doing in this game now. We can converse then. Before, Before it, it returns to giant. It would appear we I mean a giant monster that we saw earlier in the game. This guy is I can only guess. Damn it. I'm so sorry. There is no time for that now. This mean, can you finish it? Alright, transform into purple heart, yes. Transform into orange heart, yes. I say purple heart now. Alright, everybody's. Everybody's kinda hurting for MP. Let's go, cross combination. Let's give you more. Let's give you more of that. Let's go for Mirage Dance. Now it's in a big hit. All right, let's do a big dream roar. Hitting up here pretty hard. Spiral dream. Uh, what should I do? Let's use a heal on up here. There we go. It's my turn. I don't have any SP to do things. Now, big hit on you. Cross combination, go. There we go, down to its last health bar. Don't have enough to do Dream War. Can we beat it without it, though? Now oh, that was a big hit. I mean, if we keep up the offense, we should be able to do it. Hey, 
Get him down, get him down, get him down, get him out of here. Are you nepping him up good? Yeah, we got the triangle attack going. And we got leveled up off that. Everyone got leveled up off that, that's good. That was actually pretty tough. Now we're out of share energy. Oh well. He did it. Now we don't have to worry about that mud anymore. He did get share crystals. Yes, where did the baby bugs get those? Get your slave on. Is that supposed to be Greymon? Wait, what? Oh boy, it's referencing Digimon. Of course it would be referencing Digimon. What else would it be referencing? Alright, let's go. Back to base. Alright, let's celebrate the rescue. Why is this a roasted fish party? Wait, what? What? It's just that we had to some reserve supplies. Fish is the most abundant natural resource in the area? Oh no, we're doing cannibalism, uh-oh. I'll get you some krill in a little bit. Oh well, krill, okay. Let's make some sweets, yes. Nurse prepares meals from anything she can find out there. Generally simple dishes. So she is finding food somehow. Some fish eat other fish. Yeah, that's true. Those argument isn't valid. Have you ever eaten locusts or snakes or frogs before? Uh, oh my god, like seriously? You, no way, Debsy. You slimy little frog legs, -like holy gross. Who's the main language? What are you talking about? That wasn't harsh language. We had harsher language earlier. No way in hell I'd eat one of those ugly bastards. Hey, stop swearing. This is a Christian video game. As you can clearly tell by what's going on. Don't get tricked. Don't be eating. Neptune, you're gonna say weird things like that to people. It's not very nice. Shiitake mushrooms? Oh, we got some shrooms, guys. Yes. Remember, guys, don't do shrooms. If you do shrooms, you go to hell before you die. Yes. Everybody knows that. I mean, Mario does all the... Mario is a very poor role model in that regards. He teaches people that doing mushrooms is super awesome, and that it will give you superpowers, and that's not the case. It'll just make it your falls. And then you'll, and then you'll probably um, end up in a broken home and a broken gutter, uh, wishing that... Uh, Actually, I don't know what you'd be wishing for, but you'd probably wish you had it done mushrooms. You could have come from another part of the I'm not delusional, no. We got sucked in here from me. Just had mushroom- just had shroom soup. Oh, you had mushroom soup? Cool. I like shroom soup. Shroom soup is good. I like mixing it with rice. It makes it really good. Yes, we're dimension hoppers, yes. What? What's wrong with eating shroom soup? Gosh. Shroom soup. All you gotta do is pick the finest magic mushrooms from out of the yard. The ones that bruise blue or the ones that are magical. Yeah, little brown mushrooms that bruise blue like me magical, guys. Yeah, don't believe anybody telling you that bruising blue is not for you. No, 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 no. That's, that's utterly incorrect. Also, I don't endorse doing drugs. Mario, Mario, however, endorses doing drugs. Even though he tells you not to do drugs or you go to hell before you die. Yes. Yeah, winners don't do shrooms, guys. In fact, here's a shrooms command for you. Remember, if you do shrooms, you go to hell before you die. Yes. That's also true of Yandere's, too. Alright, what did yes, her personality and speed changes randomly once in a while? What's up with that? She is pushing herself, pushing herself. Initially she was able to cheerful this with this position, much like when she transforms, what really? Yeah, so now she became a Sundry. 
Mario promotes covering your enemies in fire. Sonic, well, Sonic uses heavy metals. <laughs> what? Sonic uses heavy metals? Of course, Sonic does all those rings. Oh, what do you think, Chaos? What do you think, Chaos? Nah. Nah, nah. Sonic endorses using the powers of Chaos, man. What do you think Chaos Control is? <laughs> Alright, now let's have some pleasant dreams. Map Station, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Excuse me. What the heck is going on in this game? Yes, I'm very happy we rescued a seaman fish. It's a nice of idea factory to actually remember that game was actually a thing. For some reason. What else are those rings made of? Well, they're... Well, the rings are obviously power rings, yes. They're sort of like the Captain Planet rings, only more are only much cooler. Yeah. Whenever Sonic gets hit, he loses all his rings, yes. They're uh, protective and powerful, yes. You want to eat some pudding, but there aren't any pudding around here. Yep, she wants her pudding. You know, I actually made a creepypasta about Neptune uh, eating eating a eggplant pudding. Yes, after she was attacked by big giant um, eggplant demons that were Eldrick that were created by R4. Yeah, I actually did that. I could show you it. <laughs> the rings are made out of chaos energy. Yes, and chaos is a very bad thing. Don't do don't do chaos. Friends don't let friends do chaos. No, no, get me some pudding. I want to try eating some pudding. Yes, let's go find some pudding. Yes, hopefully we don't get eggplant pudding. Custard pudding, but green tea pudding and chocolate pudding are great too. Oh, she's going into a dream state again. I mean, who's mean would totes want to make friends with yummy treats and treats of all our beautiful friends? Oh, what? Yep, she's going into- she's going- she's begin- Pudding is the food of di- di- the food of deities. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Well, to be- to be fair- to be fairly honest, uh, what do you think Ambrosia is? It's just- it's just pudding, only it's godly. It's just pudding. It's just pudding that only gods can eat. Don't say it him. Don't. 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 Did you make pudding? Pudding out of fish eggs too. Uh oh. Fish eggs? No. Pudding. Right. Uh, pudding. Right. Yeah. What? What do you? What do you mean? No, we're not gonna do fish. Fish pudding. No. No, no, there's some defined cows in the Pantheon. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. Or you could or you could get it from the uh Cat Lopez. That's a cow, right? Yeah, it's a big cow with a big petro with a big poison with a big nest. It's a big cow with a uh, poisonous breath. That can turn things to stone. Yeah, that's the best milk, trust me. I know that because I come from the fairy realm and that kind of thing is very common. Alright, now let's... Let's buy some stuff. I think I would like to buy a lot more healies. I can't really buy that much. I think I would like to buy more healing items. Because this game seems like it's not very easy. I got one of those. I should buy one of those for Kuzumi. No other items to buy. 
Alright, now. Hopefully he doesn't run into a bull that might... Slefnir. Oh yeah, Slefnir is pretty good. Slefnir is a big... Slefnir just has eight... Just Slefnir is really fast, you can tell because he has eight legs. I mean, in a foot... In a, in a foot race, he'd probably win against even Pegasus. And Pegasus has wings, man. I mean, Pegasus is cool and everything, but, you know. Hey, Unsealy Seth, what's up? Um, actually, just about the end. And we've been playing for over two hours, man. Wow, where has the time gone by? Wow, where has the time gone by? Oh, uh, you're okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Alright, let's see who's on so I can raid them. <laughs> this game, unironically, is pretty good. You know, for what it is. I mean, you expect... Of course, uh, I would expect great things from a company known like Idea Factory. I mean, they only made over 9,000 of these Neptunia titles. There's only over 9,000 of them. Alright, let's see who's on. Let's see, what are you doing? Let's see, uh... Yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. Lifnir's my cousin, really? Yeah, there's a lot of Hyper Dimension Neptunia games. Oh, Gao goes, and I believe she's playing... I believe they're playing, uh, Breath of the Wild? Anyway, please join in the raid. Oh, it's so nice to have viewers to go raid with. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Where should we go? Is that like a dragon? Dragging these nuts. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out Breath of the Wild, huh? And bat raid. There we go. I'll see you later. Remember to play games and have fun, okay? Bye-bye now. Goodbye. <laughs>